Hey, this is Anton Bushido again, and I've gotten some pretty interesting comments on the videos. And some of them were asking me, um, how do I, how do I get the on dock to look like it is? So I did a video previously. I don't know if people caught on to it or not, but I'm just gonna recap on how to configure on like I've done, and also how to configure a uh, Cario dock, which is another dock. Um, just like this one but a little bit more um, things to do as in little knickknacks and uh, widgets so let's get started um, first you would just go to dock preferences pretty much and then there's plenty of things to do you can uh, organize it to go in the top the right the left side of your screen but I just like it at the bottom you can also have it uh, different ways edgy edgy is like it gives you little edge little widget right here it looks pretty neat and I'll show you how I got all this on the right side of the screen too um, you can basically configure the way it's gonna um, auto hide like if you want the window to dodge it or always visible or panel mode just basically uh, if a window goes over it which I'll show you right there it'll just disappear for me uh, here's icon effects basically if you do 3d spotlight turn that's what it's gonna do it's gonna spotlight and turn or I just like mine to squish it's just something simple um, and this is basically task manager so let's say you wanted an app application up here that you wanted to store down there like um, give an example um, I haven't got put Firefox down there so let's just add Firefox see it just came up right there and you can move it in any position that you want right there and applets now I went to systems administration and synaptic package manager and got a uh, extra uh, applets for the on settings and it's pretty simple just to do to get them all you need to do is just type on and you'll see python on extras and python settings uh, python extras right here um, just click on those anything that you see extras for Python just get them uh, see extras applets and they're pretty handy because it uh, gives you one little main menu thing is a few main menus that are on there like Cario menu or main menu but either one of those will get it so that it comes up as a square block thing instead of coming up as a as your like regular window that you see from applications which I thought was pretty neat so uh, you could go to office and you'll have all of that in one little directory like thing and this is also where you can configure where your applets are going to be at like right here uh, it's a launcher slash task manager and that's what you had in there so whatever the applet slash task manager is at it's, uh, it's where those like Chrome or any other things that you added from applications are going to be at. So what I did was I added a I added an applet called Extender. Now what Extender does is what I'm about to demonstrate. If I put that up, everything's just going to go onto the left side of the screen because the Extender is not there. But as soon as I put Extender back. Uh, once I find it again, <laughs> the separator and extender should be right here. So once I add extender back, I just move it in between the clock thing right here, the clock applet, and the uh, applet that's uh, um, let's see what's the name of that indicator applet. It 
basically puts everything to the right side of the uh, the dock and keeps everything from the left side over on the left side. So it's just basically a little splitter if you think about it. And most of like the sun little thing right here, which is basically weather, it's just an applet that you just put on the other side. It's, it's basically it's very simple to do. And there's all other applets that you can get. You can get log out applet. You can get a uh, like that's the notification basically. But it's not, it, they have about two different notifications. I tried this one, it gave me some errors, some weird errors actually. So I don't even mess with that one that much. Um, pretty much. But I'm gonna leave mine. So let me go back to floaty. That's how I like it. And this is where you can get themes. Now, I specified uh, the other video where to get themes that is basically at gnome look or you can type in uh, gnome eye candy in google and the, pretty much the link that's just gnome eye candy and you'll see a whole bunch of themes and stuff you'll want to go down and search for on uh, themes and some of them work and some of them don't because they're uh, different manage oh, they, they change the coding around so one works on another and then another one works this is the, the latest one so the latest themes is going to only work on the latest one for some reason I had no idea I think it was the dot tar dot gz2 that uh, worked but the others didn't so I was having problems with that but I eventually got one that I liked that worked um, so that's pretty much it to on let's go to cardio doc so again, close out of that and Cario Doc with OpenGL. Now the reason why you want Cario Doc with OpenGL is so you can get all the nice little graphical things to show up. Like uh, if I hover over this, you'll get this little box icon effect. It's pretty neat. And this is the window. And what you can do is right click on it at first thing. Because some people might not like that or not. Um, unlock the position. What I'm gonna do is drag try to see if I can stop it in there. Not and let's see here. Ah there we go. Now it's on the thing or about. <laughs> so what I did was just clicked on the arrow on the right side of the little app and then it brought it back down here. So what I'm gonna do is uh try to configure this. And I haven't worked with Cario for a little bit uh, I worked with the 10.4, but not on 15, so there might be some things different. I don't really know. Uh, let's configure. Let me stop talking. <laughs> let's get to the action. Alright, uh. Hi, Doc, when current window ever lapsed. Cool. Uh, screen position on screen. Uh, let's keep it at the bottom. Um, behavior, KDE. Alan, uh, let's keep it like a Mac OX X. It, it might be something cool. And appearance, alright. Custom icons, you can choose different icons I'm guessing. Let's see if click apply. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, let's go with humanity dark because I got a got a dark theme going on here. Yeah, that's not dark at all. Uh, sub Ubuntu dark. dark. Ah, whatever you want though. It's what's your flavor? Alright, so. Um, you can have a curve. Um, panel. Let's see. Hmm, that's neat. I like that. That's, that's very neat. Hmm, I might even use that. <laughs> Boy, that you can keep it like that. Mm, you have it rainbowed. I wonder how that looks. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's quite interesting, but I'm gonna give it the curved look. And we'll scroll on down. See how. Uh, the others are gonna look. 
I'm gonna keep it as the little boxy box thing, which is pretty cool. Alright, well, this is the basic stuff, but let's go into advanced mode because that's where all the little giblets and cool stuff's at. Ah, uh, this is where we are. Okay, it appears you enter, never entered this mode. Yada, yada, yada. Let's just go and click all. Alright, so this animated icons. So, you can choose the way that icons look like it affects you. Let's have um, a spotlight uh, when clicking, when hovering, and. Have a little wobble. Let's try something out. So whenever you hover over it, it's gonna give a little spotlight and a little wobble. And when clicking on the launcher, let's see. Let's have a rotate. And I also like I really like rotate. And let's take that one off over here. Have pulse. So whenever it's gonna rotate a little bit. See, that's a neat little trick right there. See, Cario has a lot of uh, more effects than On does, which also uses a lot of CPU. Uh, not that much because I'm running uh, the desktop recorder just to record this video. And uh, you got all other little knickknacks. You can specify the rotation or the spot or the wobble or the pulse or whichever ones you want. You can specify how they react with your dock and just completely customize it um, you can change the background or basically the color of how it looks you can make it uh, make it so it be an image all you have to do is just go to that right there click on the image that you want and you can set it I'm just gonna keep mine at black you can also make it transparent uh, how, how transparent the picture is gonna be on the screen now there's one little neat icon that I like was not icon. It's pretty funny. And it's Cario Penguin. And let's see if he does. Yep. See the little penguin coming down there. It's gonna be dancing all over the dock and stuff, doing random things, sliding, as you can see. And it's just a little cute little fella, just doing what he's doing. Um, accessories. You can add a clock if you wanted to right there of course you could configure how it looks cause you know, not everybody likes military that military time that much but you can configure it here on on I mean um, on cario doc sorry about that and this experiment have fun with it I uh, don't see where you're gonna go wrong with the thing you know you might but still and that, that's another little uh, uh, weather applet, which if you just click on it and do configurations on where you're set and like search for location, wherever you live at or everything, will come up for your area. But that's pretty much it for the docks. And so that goes my how-to. And... So just experiment, have fun with the docks and everything. I'll have some more vids up later. Peace.